ES Audio. Hi, I'm John Weeks, and this is the Evening Standards Tech and Science Daily. Coming up, the next level gaming coming to Teslas. But first, as you well know by now, it is hot today. And we could be looking at a record breaker, as the Met Office reckons the UK could hit 40 degrees Celsius today for the first time. But the extreme heat comes with a health warning. A heat wave is by definition an extreme and a rare event. They are becoming more frequent because of climate change, but by definition they are still an extreme event that we need to be cautious about. That's Dr Eunice Lowe, a climate scientist from Bristol Uni. She's got some quite shocking figures about how deadly extreme heat can be. So 2020, the UK Health Security Agency estimated over 2,500 excess deaths that were related to heat during three heat wave episodes. So, you know, some people are badly affected. London in particular is expected to endure the highest temperatures today. But to combat those highs, Hammersmith Bridge has been wrapped in foil. It's 135 years old and is getting £140 million worth of repairs at the moment, so it's hoped the reflective foil will stop it from overheating. It was closed during similar heat in 2020, when the sun caused cracks in the cast iron to expand. Tesla owners are getting another software upgrade, the ability to play games on Steam inside the car. Boss Elon Musk has tweeted in a reply to someone that they're making progress with Steam integration and we could see a demo next month. The cars already have games like Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and Cuphead built in, which you play on the central touchscreen. Musk has previously promised to bring titles like The Witcher and Cyberpunk 2077 to some Tesla vehicles, and his latest tweet could mean the company is getting closer to its Steam rollout. Now, it has been two years, nine months, 18 days, nine hours, zero minutes, and however many seconds I've been talking to you so far since we last got to say, welcome to TwitchCon. That was Mary Kish, director of community marketing at Twitch, speaking at TwitchCon in Amsterdam over the weekend. The event was back as an in-person occasion for the first time since the pandemic began. Twitch streamer and producer Hey Laura Blake spoke to Mary at the event about what it's like to be back. How does it feel to be back? It feels so good. It's an indescribable feeling and see people be just as excited as I am to be here again in person and to talk about something we love, which is finding people that we like and being together with them. And Mary said she has big plans for Twitch in the future. I am ambitious and so is Twitch. We have a lot of vision for making it more accessible and easier to go live. And anyone who goes live can tell you it ain't easy. It takes a lot of work. It takes technical expertise and knowledge. uh, And it takes time. The event is now headed to the States and kicks off in San Diego in October. It looks like Japan is looking into a way of replicating Earth's gravity on the Moon and Mars. It's reported Kyoto University and Kojima construction firm are working on that tech, as well as a bullet train that would travel to Mars and the Moon. Researchers have revealed plans to build a narrow living structure on the Moon in the shape of a champagne flute called the glass. It would have water bodies, green areas and public transport, and will apparently use the centrifugal force caused by the moon's rotation to create artificial gravity equivalent to Earth. A team of engineers from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology have found a way to save energy and make water boil more efficiently. They've tested a new treatment which is applied to the surfaces of machinery and devices that heat and evaporate water, such as refrigeration systems for electronics. It works by causing bubbles to form at specific separate points rather than spreading out in a film across the surface, therefore leading to more efficient boiling. Let's go to the ads now. Stay there though to find out why bison are being introduced to Britain and why some bears like to stay near humans. Plus, why not hit the link in our show notes for today's How to Be a CEO podcast with 23andMe's Anne Wojcicki. In the meantime, why not give us a follow? Welcome back. 
Game companies are being asked to stop allowing children to make in-game purchases without the approval of an adult. The culture secretary Nadine Dorries wants loot boxes to be made unavailable to kids. It's after the Department for Digital Culture, Media and Sport found players who've purchased loot boxes might be more likely to experience gambling, mental health problems and financial harm. The government has said it might consider legislation to bring in stronger protections for children across the entire games industry if companies don't do enough. Now, bison are being introduced into the wild in Britain to try to help nature and potentially tackle some climate crises. We are standing in the Bleen Woods right next to the bison crawl and literally five meters from me, <laughs> three bison, European bison, a landmark moment for conservation in the UK. That's Donovan Wright, bison ranger for Kent Wildlife Trust. They're being released into a fenced enclosure in some woods in Kent to help restore the natural area simply by doing what they do best, grazing, felling trees, eating bark, and taking dust baths. And finally, a new study suggests some female bears in Europe choose to live closer to humans to keep themselves and their newborn cubs safe from male bears. Researchers spent 20 years monitoring populations of brown bears in the Cantabrian mountain range in northern Spain. As the number of bears increased, they found more of them chose to live closer to areas with human activity, such as trails and roads, to stay away from male bears, who typically steer clear of areas used by people. You're up to date. Come back at 4pm for the Leader podcast from the Evening Standard in London. We'll be back tomorrow at 1pm. See you then.